Hey girlies, it's me again. I'm back with some more lippies. Um, it's nothing new, but um, I didn't buy into the hype of the product at first, but now I get why it's so popular and why a lot of people are looking for them. And basically what I'm talking about are the Nana Coco glosses. These retail between $2.99 and $3.99 in most areas. So in my area, they're pretty much $3.99. So I was like, uh, for a beauty supply store um, lip gloss, I don't see any colors that really jump out at me anyway. No, take that back. They have a black gloss and they have a silver. I was like, okay, if I get anything, maybe I should get something that's totally different than anything I have in my collection because these really remind me of the the new Rimmel um, glosses. So I was um, out looking for something, and it was a shopping center that had a beauty supply store. Every time I think to go into it, I'm already away from the mall. I'm like, oh, okay. I was just thinking, I was like, okay, I'm going to go this time. I'm going to remember to go. Walked in, it's a very tiny um, beauty supply store, so I usually just go in there, just strictly makeup. Happened to look, they had banana and cocoa, and I'm like, I had to do a double take for one ninety nine. Yeah, I'll try it for one ninety nine. Three ninety nine, not so much. So, <laughs> I just don't believe in paying a lot for a beauty supply store makeup. That's just me. I mean, you know, it's very, most of the time it's like, low end brands or you know I mean it's good quality sometimes but I don't like to go in and spend more than five dollars on a product I don't like to spend more than three dollars really on a um beauty supply store brand that's just my personal preference but um yeah so <laughs> I just got all subject so when I saw it I was like oh man they just don't know what they have in their store and I'm like okay I don't know if that was an accident or what, but I took a picture and posted it on um, Instagram to show people I wasn't lying because I haven't heard anyone um, say they bought them for one ninety nine. So I carefully looked through all 30, I believe it's 30 colors, and I got all of the cream finished ones with the exception of the purple, which I know why I got it. Um, <laughs> so I got nine colors all together. And I'm going to go through names and everything. I have worn two of the colors. And you guys, now I can kind of put my foot in my mouth because I think these are worth $3.99. Yeah, I said it. I really, really think these are worth $3.99. Because the quality and the feel, the uh, pigmentation, everything is on point with this product. So let me just get into what I have. So this is what the... um packaging looks like. They have the names on the sides and this one right here is called Love Affair and it's pretty much um, looks like a light mauve and this is what the applicator looks like right there. Oops, right there. And that's Love Affair right there. And they smell good. It has a trying to see not co cocoa butter no like a butterscotch butterscotch scent and it's not overpowering because you see how close and how many times I had to sniff it so it's a very pleasant candyish scent so this is the only um one that's not a cream finish this one is uptown girl and this one is a purple I think I am going to go back and get more. Some of the odd colors. They had like the black. They had an orange with glitter. Which I really don't need that one. I'll probably go back and get the black and the silver. If they're still $1.99. Even though I said it's worth $3.99. <laughs> and that's it right there. And I didn't go ham. Like I was like $1.99. I just knew I was going to like, mm -hmm, get one of each. But I didn't. I'm proud of myself. I really am. This next one is called Kissing Lips. I don't know if you can see it, so I'll just say the name. And this one is like an orangey red. Looks like an orange with some a hint of red in it. Really pretty. It's that one right there. This next one is called Hidden Desire. Hidden Desire is the perfect 
need. Now this one I would I know I don't need it because I have I try to I'm trying to break myself out of the habit of buying back of, of items. I have too many items and it's very, very, very rare that I complete a product. So I'm, that's what I keep reminding myself. It's not necessary for backup, but you guys, this is a new I will always need in my arsenal, my makeup arsenal. It's the perfect new. It looks like it has a hint of pink in it. It's just, it's really beautiful. And like I said, it reminds me of the Rumble glosses, but these are better. I was not that impressed with the Rumble glosses, but I mean, it is what it is. This next one is called City Girl. Yep. This one is, it looks like a light mauve color. Or like a light, it's like a coat. It's like a mauve, but this one has more, a nudie mauve. That's what I'll say. And it's right there. Right under Hidden Desire. This next one I have is called Mysterious. And this is like that dollhouse you know, by Wet n Wild. That's exactly, yeah, that's exactly what it is, and that's it right there. This next one is called Passion. It's a true red. That's it right there. This next one is called Lovely uh, Fuchsia. Oh, that's hot. Right. And the texture of these are thick and creamy. Not that uncomfortable, sticky. No. It's thick. The coverage is very thick and comfortable. Where you can, like, put it on eat and stuff like that and you'll still have the color on your lips. These glosses are, just grab a couple of these too, you will like them. And the last one I have is called First Kiss. And this one is, um, I would say raspberry, a raspberry-ish color. And that's it right there. So those are the nine that I have thus far. Um, I know for a fact I will not be getting every single color in this collection. At the most, I may get four more colors, two to four more colors, but I got all the cream finish ones, which I really, really wanted. So, yeah, really, really impressed by these colors. I'm trying to make it so you guys can see it. So, those are the colors again. And yeah, I know I'm probably the last to get these. Everybody has been talking about them, but I just had to come through and show you guys because this, this is one of the products that I am really excited about because you get a lot for your money with these glosses. And some people are comparing them to um, Max. I think it's the Cream Sheen glosses. I don't know. I don't own any of those, but people are comparing them to those and saying that. Um, it's basically the same quality, so yeah. Just want to show you really fast, so I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.